Yo, 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 yo. It's one of the you gang. And welcome back to the channel. So we have quarter three of this beautiful, beautiful game that will be coming out. Uh, quarter three beta starts today, 7 p.m. With a bunch of enhancements, a bunch of other worldly beautiful things. Ah, uh, this game is once human. When I say this was one of the best games on this puzzle, look at this. The best. Oh, when I say this is one of the best games, betas. I have played RPG wise, well, survival wise, I will say that is one of the best that I played in 2023. Hands down, because I'm into survivals. I'm into the base buildings, the looting, the adventuring, the fun stuff. You know what I mean? We're going to run it back. Oh. But this. This one's human. And I'm gonna let y'all check it out. One MD. Look at it. Fishing. Rain capture. Beautiful landscape. Hunting. Party style, just in freaking insane. This is the most fun I had in 2023. Beta testing this. East did a wonderful job on this game, I'm not gonna lie. It was so much fun. Pre-registration is online, oneishuman.com. It is coming out tonight. You better load up, make your character, save your spot. If you already played, you in the game, you're golden. If not, you better get ready. Once human. Crazy. Oh man. Oh man. When I say this game was fun, it was so fun. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna joke around with it. It was so much fun. Let's see what else we got. Let's try. Let's see. See if we got some other. Uh, video of it. I don't know, this as is, an this entrepreneur, is, as a creator, at. I'm 24 seven on the go all the time. Chop you might have not have heard about this game once human yet, but today I'm going to catch you up on it and explain why you need to have this game on your radar. I'll also tell you when the next beta is it. and how you can try to get into it. But lying. why have already 7.7 .7 million people pre-registered for this game? Hey, and that's well, old. the best way I can describe once human. Look, and that is old. This thing is at 9 million and some change pre-registered. You better get in there. 150k players allowed in. Except for those who have already started and already played it in the last two betas. I'm in there. Y'all better get with it. Is the division meets rust meets stranger things. I know that sounds weird. I would really agree with that. But the enemies just aren't your normal everyday zombies. They're there's something more than that. They're more weird, to be honest. You got Spider Mommy Boss, or how about the Siren? Which is what I imagine your uncle on Facebook was expecting to happen when 5G was initially launched. They mention how they were influenced by HP Lovecraft with all these characters, but it also gives me like that Pan's Labyrinth vibe to it. On December 7th, the closed beta for this game started, and anyone could download the launcher and play it. You know what else came out on December 7th? 
probably one of the most controversial games in a long time, and that's the day before. What I was seeing. When I say I had this game bought, ready to play, gave it a chance, and it was seemed to be okay at the first at the beginning. Notice I said at the beginning. Okay. And then I slowly realized it was definitely missing. Definitely missing what it was supposed to be. It's crazy. Waste of money, but let me really keep talking now. Let's go back to it. What happening though was people were making YouTube videos saying, don't play the day before, it's garbage. Instead, play this new game, Once Human. Then bigger streamers like King Gathalion and Co Carnage uh, gave it a go and they ended up really enjoying it and giving it a glowing recommendation, which then got the likes of Asmongold's attention turned on to it. And then, you know what? Not gonna lie, the first person I've seen talk about this game was the player one, no joke. He had the best content on it when it first, probably even before any of the rest of these guys touched on it. He was on Twitter talking about it. And then he was actually um, shooting some videos on it, talking about it. That's our first actual time, me personally, I've heard of it. And it turned on a big light bulb, start playing it, and it was phenomenal. Because they were having so much fun, of course, the community wanted to get in on it. Before they knew it, Starry Studios had to close down the beta, being open and change it to applying to get a key. And let me tell you, the Discord was in shambles. People were pleading for keys, wanting to get in because, well, it was really, really good. I don't think they knew how to handle this rise. I'm not going to lie, he ain't lying. When he say people were fiending for the keys, they were in Discord going, buck wild chasing the keys trying to pay for the keys begging the mods for keys and stuff it was insane no cat it's popularity and that's not the fault of theirs i'm not going to knock them for it but they had like a server capacity of about twenty thousand. they didn't think many people were going to people uh play this game and then they quickly had a pivot and changed it to fifty thousand players they had hundreds of thousands of players now requesting keys and they ended up telling everyone what we're going to do is we're going to give out 3000 keys every Friday. So there were a lot of people that just ended up wanting to play, but not getting a key. And it reflected onto their discord, which turned into a gong show, which was just people screaming for keys. Where's my key? I want to play this game. Why can't I play this game? And it, it, it did get out of hand. And I know the developer didn't mean for this to happen, but I really think the FOMO people were having only helped this game more. But why does everyone want to play this game? What's so good about it? Well, the game is a sci-fi zombie. I'll tell you, without him even saying it, it is the most intricate, detailed survival game that has came out that has a splice of adventure, realism, scientific, um uh, what i was about to say sci-fi and also realism to the fullest you have to drink you have to eat and you can go in groups and it's a massive space and there's always an adventure waiting around each corner facts survival open world sandbox mmo looter shooter with pvp and pve base building character progression west weapon customization and yes you can fish in this game. Think about all the words I use to describe this game already, and it seems like studios can't even do three of the, these things and make a good game lately. They have been doing all of this and making a good game. The official servers are going to be That's about 4,000 players, so each server can do 4,000. I'm sure you're going to be able to do private servers with you and your friends, and they will be doing seasons, and yes, it is going to be free to play. It will be coming out on PC and also on mobile. And people are worried because Netties will be doing the mobile port. Remember Netties, the people who brought us that amazing Diablo Immortable, Immortal game? Uh, that totally isn't just a walking monetization abomination. Well, the saving grace here is Starry Studios now have said multiple times there will be no pay to win elements in their game. And call me a sucker, but 
I believe them. For them to put out this good of a game already in beta and for them to ruin it with great. microtransaction would just be the craziest thing I've seen in a while. And I'm not saying it's never happened, but I just can't see it. The game is slated to release in Q3 this year. They have another beta just around the corner with I'm sure one more before they go full release. The rumor and mumblings by people they are thinking at the end of summer for full release. You will be chopping down trees and mining different ore to build bases in the game and there are a ton of different customizations you can do when building. Something people like and don't like though is that the bases are in the world for you to run into. So you can be in the middle of a jungle and see a player's mansion right there. And some people really like this and some people really hated this. I liked going around the world and seeing other people's hideouts. I liked just exploring. I'm not going to lie. I loved it because you get to see the difference in the architecture that other people do besides yourself. And it was phenomenal. For sure. Exploring and seeing how they built theirs, what I can do. Oh, I didn't think about doing this. I'm going to do this to mine now. But you know what? That's just me. I get if you don't like the immersiveness. Is that a word? Immersiveness? Immersiveness. I'm going to have to go with that. Um, being ruined because there's just houses like in a row, like you're in a, in a cul-de-sac out of nowhere. They honestly you that's the crazy part about this game honestly you don't get distracted your immersive the immersiveness of it does not get bothered because it is so vast and there's areas and it's not like one of those games where you could just go into areas that you're not really supposed to be in because of your level because they let you understand you are not prepared for those areas a hundred percent like the leveling unless they changed it the leveling is crazy like some levels are 67 45 you're 22 you go into 45 you really it really shows it so there's no cheese per se way of doing so but it really is very immersive for sure they said they will be adding a feature for you to be able to save your bases so if you're not the greatest at base building like me there's going to be ways for people to share their bases with other people so you don't have to think too too much there they actually already did you can save it as blueprints and share it with everybody they're also adding a base you can build on wheels it's super goofy but it it somehow I feel like fits the game aesthetic. And yes, in this picture right here, you can see that in your base, you can build a little garage and you can ride motorcycles to be able to traverse the map faster. You're also able to make turrets and traps to protect your base uh, while you're offline. But in the latest dev blog that they just recently put out, they said a lot of feedback they got from the second beta that just ended in January were a lot of people saying that they didn't like that their host was getting attacked by AI while they were getting uh, while they were offline. So it sounds like they're going to stop this where your base is deteriorating because AI keeps attacking it. At least I would say in the PVE servers because well, they're going to be PVE servers and PVP servers, but there's also going to be PVP in the PVE servers, but you have to go and find it. Let me explain a See, and the one thing I did like was that they did add that in there. Uh, if anything, they I would say probably tweak it just a bit, but not crazy because it still added to the realism of the game. Because if you're offline, I mean, in real life, if you don't take care of your house, it's going to kind of crumble eventually. So it's one of those things like, OK, it's, it's more realist, realistic than it is not. So, you know, I mean, if anything, you know, kind of dumb it down a bit you know that's what i say anyway that's my take a little bit more about the pvp part of the game and just explain as much as i know at least so far so in pve servers there will still be pvp you can turn this on or off anywhere you want and you'll be put into a state that they call a chaos state and anyone else in this chaos state can now fight you but you have to manually turn this on yourself it's not going to be like oops i by mistake you're in this chaos state no you actually have to really i legitly okay so when i play it how he's definitely he's 100 correct you have to place yourself into a chaos state and it's basically like you have to hold i think it was a left button 
um i mean not the left button but you have to hold like alt or something like that um for like five seconds or something that puts you in it and people will play you with that they will definitely play you on it i promise you that i've had my share of ignorant things people were tricking you into doing it the guy was hopping around the server having people jump into it then all of a sudden he'll bash you and try to take all your stuff so you gotta be smart when doing it that's a hundred want to go into pvp to turn the state on so there are instances though where it is automatically turned on for you though and there's sp specific locations on the map that will put you into this chaos state automatically think of like the dark zone in the division where when you or your team enter it's a free-for-all it's automatically pvp and you'll be notified because it's almost like a a bubble around this zone like you'll know you're going into pvp and i'm pretty sure there's alert there too there are also cool instances of this chaos state happening when you do something called retrieving. So right there, right here in this little corner, once you pick those up, you will go into a chaos state and you will be in PVP anytime you see them around the map. So don't be fooled if someone tells you, Echo oh stones. no. Now what echo stones are, they're world events where a special stone drops from the sky to the ground. And when you pick these up and take them back to your hideout, you'll automatically be put into a chaos state. So anyone can grab the stone from you and attack you as long as they're also in a chaos state. Now you can't just fast travel though, back to your uh, hideout. You actually have to take it and, and walk it or motorcycle it to your base. So you are gonna be put in a certain amount of danger, but guess what? When you get back into your hideout with this stone, you're gonna collect all the riches from it. Another really cool aspect in the PVE servers is something called warbands. You can make a warband or join a warband. And what happens is you take over certain lo resource locations on the map. And when you have them or you want to challenge another warband for them, you go up to these locations. It'll give you a date and a time. And then you will know when this like all out war will happen with this other warband. The defending warband will have time to set up uh turrets and stuff like that but they have to defend you guys at this date and time which i think sounds badass this sounds really cool now pvp servers is exactly how it sounds it's just pure chaos once you get to level 10 you'll always be on it in a chaos state also while you're online not only are you susceptible to attack but also your base i don't know how to say that word susceptible Suscept i don't know you get what i'm saying who knows what will happen if your base is getting attacked and you quickly log out because if you're not logged in your base is safe but what happens if you're getting attacked and you're at your base and then you just quickly log out right i'm sure these are things that, that they have already thought about but i'm hoping they figure out a way so you can't really cheese it we are only going to touch a little bit on the weapons of the game and there are a ton of them like you can get you can get enhancements for the weapons you can modify the weapons you can uh calibrate the weapons and it, it's just it just is crazy the amount of things you can do but because it's a survival game ammo is not as plentiful as you wish so your best friend in this game is going to be this right here the crossbow the crossbow is amazing because you're going to throw bolts at a lot of enemies and shoot them and then you can pick those bolts back up so just know that you are going to have a lot of cool uh guns you're going to use them a lot but you're also going to be so basically he is not joking. Like ammo is very scary. So like, it takes so much crafting to get it. It don't take so much, but it is a grind to get enough ammo to actually keep running, gunning, playing for full time without. You know what I mean? I mean, you can pick your fight. You can pick your fights, but at the same time, when you're doing dungeons or monoliths, when you go in there to fight, you gotta use them bullets. There's different types of bullets. Copper metal uh steel bullets all of that but it's really worth the grind though and he's not lying about the guns you can freaking modify them things like crazy enhance them like crazy as well as the armor same thing the deviants you carry in your backpacks same thing you can enhance them you can extract their gook or whatever you want to call it do other stuff and uh like this guy on the mountain right here. You got a butterfly deviant. 
You can distract the gook from it. You pop it. You can jump off. You have a glider. If you don't have it, you don't have a glider. It lasts pretty long, though, too. I mean, so it's very detailed for sure. B still going back to the tried and true crossbow. The next closed beta is like days away. It's on April 3rd. I'm really excited about it. And not only are they doing. That's the old date. It changed to April 4th, which is today. Uh, and it is opening servers at 7 p.m. If you're not in, you're out. You pre-register. They're doing 150k new players. I think it is. After that, you gotta get your button to Discord. You gotta get you um get you a code. I assure you, it is very well worth playing if you like survival, if you like the aspect of open world, if you like very detailed games that are plentiful. You want to play it doing a uh, closed beta three, but they're also going to be doing the first closed beta for a mobile version of this game. And if you want to take part in this, all you have to do is make sure you go to the website, sign up and hope your luck's there. Unfortunately, there's no way of getting like, you know, the ultimate edition and be given a key, nothing like that. So all you have to do, I'll put in the description down below the website you go to sign up and just hope you get lucky. Also, if you were in closed beta two or the first closed beta, you're automatically going to be put into the closed beta three. So I'm really excited Indeed, the day gang, this gang, goes live gang, or the hour this goes live, April 3rd, it. I will be there streaming on twitch.tv slash geeksay. Come by, hang out. And I just want to say thank you guys gang. so much for watching this video. Don't if you did videos, enjoy it, remember, you know, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you guys. Twitch, it does mean the world to me. And until next time, nine, I'll talk to everyone later. You gotta get rough as guts. All right, so yeah, that's it. There you got it, man. I'm telling you, this game is going to be crazy. It's going to be filled with a, such an adventurous time. Um, I'll be on Twitch, twitch.com forward slash dnh going eight uh man it's, it's going up i'm gonna shoot the I'm out videos coming back to back back to back probably on a daily um man it's gonna be exciting man uh appreciate y'all joining in man hey it's one of the you gang uh join up sub like subscribe you know what i mean i'll be here i'll be here for a while we're gonna run it up though man hey thanks for joining in You'll be blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. She gon' bust. She gon' She gon' Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What's up, baby? Tell me.